Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl B, and I am back after a week's long hiatus. I wasn't feeling well, but thanks to everybody who sent me well wishes, and especially the Colgan, who number one requested this video that I'm about to do, and number two made me feel so much better while I wasn't feeling well. So thanks, Phil. Mwah. Smooches. But, um, this video is going to be my take on some airbrush do's and don'ts. I'll have a tutorial out very soon within the next two weeks on basic airbrush makeup and also spray tanning. So, let's get started. Um, I was asked, you know, my opinion on some things about airbrushing and what brand compressor to use and, you know, this and that. One thing I will say is that before we go any further with airbrushing, it is expensive. It's an investment, you know. A lot of makeup artists will tell you that they spend anywhere between $500 to sometimes $1,500 putting a proper airbrush compressor, you know, airbrush guns, foundations, you know, blushes, eyeshadows, blah, 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 and making sure that their kit is complete so that they can do proper airbrushing, be it on the set of a TV show, a photo shoot, or it's becoming even more popular with weddings nowadays. Like, out of weddings that I do, 9 out of 10 of the brides and their bridesmaids, mothers, whatever, they request airbrush makeup. You know, it looks amazing. I'll never forget the first time that I did airbrush makeup was on a model, and she didn't have the best skin, but after I did the airbrushing, like, her skin literally looked like silk. I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely something that I'm going to continue at and, you know, grow. Like, having a skill like airbrushing and spray tanning can really set you apart from a lot of other makeup artists. So, first and foremost, your compressors. Um, my recommendation is one that goes up to 30 PSI because you want to have one that's going to be strong enough to do kind of the all over in your face and the body and then you also want to be able to do the tattoos and you want to be able to do the eye makeup and the blushes things of that nature so 30 psi i would definitely say um i have had my eye on this temp 2 compressor it's about 380 dollars um it's 1.7 pounds it's really sleek like it looks really really little and it just looks like something that I know it's portable and it's like a portable one is kind of like invaluable like you can't put a price on it so I think I am going to invest in a definite portable one the one I have currently is 17 pounds now when you think about traveling and if the studio you go in has you have to go up steps that 17 pounds could get extremely heavy and then you think about you have to carry your foundations you still have to have, you know, a little powder makeup and your brushes and everything else just to put on those final touches. Um, also, stencils. You know, when you go through your list, everything adds up. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm not sure if that 17-pound one is going to be around for much longer. If I really like the portable one, I'll probably end up buying, like, two of them and just sell that one on eBay. Um, number two... I would say um, get Tim 2's Makeup 101 DVD. It is amazing. Before you do any type of airbrush makeup, because you are like literally blowing air in somebody's eye if you're doing eye makeup and foundation and everything else, I would definitely say watch a DVD, take a class. If anybody is close to New York like I am, definitely contact Tim 2 directly and see about their classes. And now they even have... Um, uh, art, artisan program. It's kind of like Mac Pro. So, um, I signed up for it, but once I get more information, I will definitely let everybody else know. Um, I don't know. I would say get the DVD, take a class, practice, practice, practice. It's like with any other makeup that you do. Practice, practice, practice. Um, the brands to look out for as far as compressors. Tim2 has very good compressors. Iwata. I want to put the name down here because I know I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. Is like just the brand to go to when it comes to compressors and you know guns and things like that. I would say definitely check them out. Um, but other than that, mm, that's pretty much it. I really hope that the information helped all you guys out as far as anybody who's thinking about doing airbrushing or adding airbrushing to their kit. 
so from here I'm definitely going to do some tutorials I'm going to ask some friends and I'm just going to you know bust out some airbrush and makeup and definitely some spray tanning that way you can really get a hands on view of what airbrushing is all about so with that said everyone be bold be sassy be beautiful bye guys